Okay, uh, welcome to another Honest Gear Review. Um, as I said last episode, uh, I was gonna do the Legend 2 from Digitech. Um, so, guitar is a Harley Benton DC606, I think that's the model name. Um, bought it second hand. It's in tune. I'm going mixer, power amp, cabinet, as usual. I'm gonna start by uh, doing the normal, as uh, you know. Just going through some factory patches. And then we'll be going back to my own patches. Some of these are not very loud, so... We're gonna have to kind of... Is this my guitar, or...? No, that's ri literally the patch, just <laughs> sounding like shit. Again on this one too, just some fucking weird presets. <laughs> That's so stupid. I don't know why they're so quiet. I'm scared to... Some of these uh, <clears throat> presets might be better with the Control 1, uh, which I have there. I have the Ledger 2 Control 1 even, but I am missing the fucking cable. And, you know, they're weird MIDI, not MIDI cables, but at the same time MIDI cables, so it's weird. There's no power supply on those. This is a 12 string patch. I have a 12 string. This is not what a 12 string sounds like. It just makes it sound out of tune more than anything. Some of these are just. Even then, I've been adjusting the volume and still just... Some weird noises.
растет. Sometimes it overflows. Um, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Just just a preamp tone uh, with, with no digital effects or anything. So Jesus. So some of the strength of the strengths of this preamp is really the cleans, um, um, and if you tweak it right, you can get good distortion tones as well. Like this is just actually a factory preset with no digitals, no effects. Um, Like this could work like in a pinch if you just have it <laughs> uh, as a backup and you don't have time to program it, uh, which is weird because you program it beforehand, but anyways. <laughs> So it, it, it takes a lot of time for some of these presets to load, actually. So I'm curious to which is uh, the oldest here, if it's the Legend 2 or the Valve effects. Um, I'm thinking it's the Legend 2 that's the oldest, uh, just for... I don't recall this one taking so much time. Jesus Christ, that's too much effects. Pure jazz. I don't, I don't know how to play jazz. I really wish I had this in stereo because it, mono does not work at all for nothing. I'm all out of cabinets. You get the idea. Let's go. Uh, let's go down to clean. So this is a factory preset that I tweaked a little bit myself. Let's see if I turn the middle position. Up. Thank you. 
lead. So, what's funny here is that this patch, exactly the same as the Valve Effects patch, but it sounds very different. So, I don't know what's going on here, but they're certainly not the same preamp. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the same effects, but not the same preamp. Uh, because this one is much, um, like, how, how can I say it? It's tighter in the... <laughs> I don't know, it's just tighter. Noise gate is very powerful. If only I could play the fucking guitar, that would help, but uh... Oh, that one didn't want to... Uh... Alright, so that's, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not that different uh, in terms of programming or, uh, you know, how you use it than the valve effects, so there's really nothing special other than the sound, to be honest. Um, but I like having both, uh, it doesn't hurt. Um, so, the trick here, uh, which many people might not know, this thing has a lot of gain. So the trick here is, and it took a lot of fiddling to get it uh, sounding like the way I wanted it, but the trick is really just with the distortion output. So let me just try and find it here. So when you scroll, um, grunge has the most most gain, uh, I think. Uh, so this gain uh, is distortion gain. That's all the way maxed. And then, the next tab that you see is Distortion Level. Now, you might think, well, 
I just don't, you know, I can control it with the master out, but funnily enough, it adds more gain the harder you crank it, um, I think. It sure sounds like it. So just ram it up to 12 and control, them, <laughs> control the volume with the master as you would. It's not particularly loud. Um, I'm running the power on pretty hot right now, and uh, let me just turn on a pickup here. You have to turn it up pretty, pretty uh, far to get it to sound uh, loud, uh, depending on your power amp, of course. <clears throat> but yeah, um, it's really not that hard to get uh, good sounds out of this, which is beautiful. Because I was like, damn, you know, when I got it, damn, it doesn't have enough gain, and, you know, I was sad. And then I just... One night, like, okay, fuck it, let's try one last time before I punt this thing. So I just tried everything, I just <laughs> upped it all, and fiddled a little bit with the parametric EQ, and damn, I... Oh, that's right, I'm a, I'm a, damn, I'm a dumbass, solo of... Oh, I'm still, I'm still a dummy. <laughs> It has that um, that uh, low string chug. That's a nice riff uh, from Re Reckless Love that I like to use on preamps when I'm testing them because if. That riff doesn't sound and feel good. I don't want it. to get up another octave. But... Yeah, so all in all this is a pretty one, uh, nice like all-in-one unit, uh, as I like to call it. You know, it, uh, there, there's really no need for any additional effects or uh, any compression or anything really because you can do it pretty much all on this one box uh, which is nice uh, you know I don't like to I don't like to over complicate things if I can even though some units need more than others but again that's fair you know more is more but yeah I would definitely recommend picking one of these up for no less than 150 200 bucks um, I mean yeah they're cool but they're not as I always say, they're not worth what people are asking. Like, we need to stop with these fantasy prices now and get back down to earth here. Because it's not about, for me, it's not all about making money on all of this stuff. I mean, I could probably sell it all and sit with a good, like, slump of money and after, you know, what I've spent. But why would I do that? You know, I'm not, I don't play to make money. I play... Because I like playing, so that that's my take on it anyway. I mean, why, you know, why spend much and then sell for a lot? Just bring the prices back down, man. Let's enjoy these boxes at fifty to one hundred fifty, you know, and then sell them again at fifty to one hundred fifty, so someone else can enjoy it. I mean, come on. So yeah. 
it's a great unit. I highly recommend trying it if you can. And that will be it for this episode, I think. Um, next episode, what do we want to look at then? Maybe the... Uh, oh, sorry. Maybe this one. The GSP-1101. I have that one sitting there. Before I think I'm going to sell it. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, I'll see. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.